Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Workflowy. Workflowy is an organizational tool that can help you manage your tasks, notes, and ideas in a simple and efficient way. Whether you're a student, professional, or anyone looking to improve your productivity, Workflowy can help you stay organized and focused. In this video, we will cover the basics of Workflowy, including how to create and manage nodes. So, please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the Workflowy tutorial. First, if you are new to the platform, you will need to sign up. You will find the link down below in the description. So, go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct sign up page. First, enter your email. Once you have entered your email address, click on the Sign Up button to proceed. During the sign up process, you will need to verify your email address. Workflowy will send a verification code to your email, which will be valid for 30 minutes. To verify your email, simply enter the code that you received from Workflowy into the verification field. Once you have verified your email, you'll be taken to the Workflowy dashboard. This is where you can start creating your first Workflowy lists and organizing your ideas. The Workflowy dashboard is designed to be simple and easy to navigate. The layout is user-friendly, making it easy to access all the features you need. On the left-hand side of the dashboard, you will find the left navigation panel. This panel can be accessed by hovering over the three lines at the top left corner of the dashboard. If you click on these three lines, you can pin the navigation panel to the left-hand side of the dashboard, making it easily accessible at all times. First I'll show you what you can actually find in Workflowy, and then I will show you how we can use Workflowy. The starred panel in the left navigation of Workflowy is a useful feature that allows you to quickly access your favorite or important items in your lists. This panel contains all the items that you have starred for quick access, making it easy to find the information you need. The items in the starred panel can include to-do lists, notes, ideas, or any other nodes that you have marked as important. These items are organized in list form, making it easy to scan through them quickly and find the one you need. In addition to to-do lists and other nodes, the starred panel also contains any tags and mentions that you have used in your lists and then starred. Tags and mentions can be used to organize your information and make it easier to find related items. When you star a tag or mention, it will be added to your starred panel for quick access. The Home tab in the left navigation of Workflowy is the main hub for managing your nodes. When you click on the Home tab, you will see all of the nodes that you have created in Workflowy. These nodes are displayed in list format, making it easy to navigate and find the information you need. In addition to viewing your existing nodes, you can also create new ones directly from the Home tab. To create a new node, simply click on the Plus New Node button and start typing. In addition to the left navigation panel, at the top right side of the dashboard, you will find a toolbar that contains several useful features. These features include a search bar, share button, star, show completed button, and change layout. The search bar allows you to search for specific information in your account. You can use the search bar to find a specific to-do list, node, or keyword that you need. This can be helpful if you have a large amount of information in your workflowy and need to quickly locate something specific. Simply type in the word or phrase you're looking for in the search bar, and Workflowy will display all the nodes that contain that word or phrase. The Share button allows you to invite other people to join Workflowy. There are two ways to invite someone to Workflowy using the Share button. First, you can invite someone by entering their email address. Simply enter their email address and then click on Invite to send them an invitation to join the platform. Alternatively, you can invite someone by sharing a secret link with them. This link will allow them to create their own account on Workflowy and access the information that you've shared with them. This can be helpful if you want to collaborate with someone on a project or share information with a team. The star button helps you to mark a to-do list, tag, or mention as a favorite for quick access. When you click the star button, the item will be marked with a star and it will be shown in the starred tab in the left navigation panel. This allows you to quickly access your favorite items without having to search for them. The star button is a helpful tool for organizing your workflowy and making sure that you can easily find the items that are most important to you. The Show Completed feature in Workflowy allows you to quickly review all the tasks that you have completed. 
You can toggle the feature on or off by clicking on Show Completed. When you turn on the toggle, you will be able to see all the tasks that you have marked as completed. This is a helpful feature for reviewing your progress and keeping track of what you have accomplished. You can easily turn off the toggle to focus on your current to-do list without getting distracted by the completed tasks. The Change Layout button allows you to change the layout of your node. There are three different layouts that you can choose from, Bullets, To-Do, and Board. Each layout has a different way of displaying your tasks and notes. The Bullets layout is the default layout and displays your nodes as a simple list of bullet points. The To-Do layout adds checkboxes to your nodes, allowing you to turn them into a to-do list. The Board layout displays your nodes as cards that you can drag and drop into different columns. This layout is helpful for organizing tasks into different categories or stages of a project. You can easily switch between layouts to find the one that works best for you and create and view your tasks in the desired layout. Now, let's find out what are nodes and how to create them in Workflowy. In Workflowy, a node means a bullet point or item in your list. It's like a brick that you use to build your Workflowy document. Each node can have smaller nodes inside it, which helps you make a tree-like structure. You can use nodes in many different ways. For example, you can make a to-do list, write down your ideas for a project, take notes during a meeting, or plan your daily schedule. You can move, edit, or delete nodes easily so you can keep your information organized and up-to-date. Creating a new node in Workflowy is a simple process that involves just a few steps. Firstly, focus on the Home tab in the left navigation panel. Under the Home tab, click on the Plus New Node button, which will create a new node where you can add your lists, notes, and bullets, and organize virtually any type of information. Once you have created a new node in Workflowy, the next step is to give it a title. After entering the title, you can customize it by changing its color, making it bold, italic, highlighting it, and more. Once you have customized the title, you can add content such as lists, ideas, bullets, and more. To add content, you can simply click on the plus symbol below the title or click on the space below the title. If you want to create subsections as bullet points under your node, you can use the tab button on your keyboard to create sub-bullets. You can create as many bullet points and sub-bullets as you need. In addition to bullets and sub-bullets, you can also use tags and mentions to easily categorize and connect your nodes. To add a tag, simply type the pound symbol followed by the tag name anywhere within your node's content. You can then click on the tag to view all nodes with the same tag. To add a mention, type the at symbol followed by the name of the person you want to mention. This will create a link to their Workflowy account, allowing you to collaborate and share your ideas with them. The slash command refers to the options available when you type forward slash in Workflowy. The slash command allows you to perform common functions quickly and using only the keyboard. For example, board, bullets, to do, headings, etc. Once you have created your node and added content to it, you can view it in three different formats bullets, to do, and board view. To view your node in different formats, simply click on Change Layout at the top right corner. Once you click on it, you will see three view formats available. You can view your node in any desired format that suits your needs. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Workflowy. There are more things to learn about Workflowy, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.